Hi, this is Josh from MYOB Enterprise Solutions. This video is a look at the process of making leave requests in the self-service module of MYOB Advanced and then processing them in the payroll module. The self-service module integrates with the payroll module for the seamless handling of employee leave requests. Employees can request leave from the self-service module using a web browser or the MYOB Advanced mobile app. The request is then held for approval and once it's approved it can be added into a pay run in the payroll module to be paid to the employee. At every step in the process, the leave request status is kept up to date in both modules, so employees can check on the progress of the request at any time. Before making a leave request, employees can use the self-service module to check their leave balances and make sure they have enough leave to cover their request. The leave balances screen displays the current balance of all leave types that have been made available for the self-service module. Employees can also use the projected leave balance screen to check how much leave they'll have accrued at some date in the future. This can be useful for planning and requesting leave well in advance of taking it. If they have sufficient balance, employees can go on to create their leave request using the Submit a Leave Request window. This window can be opened by clicking links on the leave balance and projected leave balance screens, or by using the Employee Calendar screen. On the calendar view, an employee can double-click on a day to create a leave request for that day, or drag across a range of days to create a leave request that covers the whole range. On the Submit a Leave Request window, the employee needs to select the type of leave they're requesting and enter start and end dates. Depending on where the window is opened from, some of this information may be filled in for them automatically. The window also gives options to attach documents to a leave request. Depending on how leave types have been configured, attachments may be optional or they may be required before the request can be submitted. Once all of the required details have been entered, the employee clicks Submit to submit their leave request for approval. At this point, the request becomes available for processing in the Payroll module. The Leave Administration screen in the Payroll module displays a filterable view of all leave requests. A Payroll user can select one or more requests and use the buttons here to approve requests, decline them, or mark approved requests as ready for inclusion in a pay run. Note that approvals are optional. Depending on how the leave system has been set up, leave requests may be approved automatically as soon as they're submitted. Leave requests that have been marked as ready to pay will be added to pay runs based on the dates that the leave was taken on. This set pay period date button lets you specify a new date for selected leave requests. For instance, if a pay run that covers the date of the request has already been run, you can include the leave request in a future pay run by setting a new pay period date that falls within that pay run. To add leave into an open pay run, select the Import Leave option from the Actions drop-down. This imports any leave requests for employees in the pay run that fall within the pay period start and end dates and have the Ready to Pay status. If a leave request spans multiple pay periods, only the portion of the request that falls within the pay start and end dates will be imported. Once leave requests are added to a pay, leave pay items for the request appear on the employee's current pay screen for the affected employees. Details of the leave appear in the Days Taken window and in the Leave Summary. Back in the Self-Service module, the Leave Request screen displays all of the requests that the employee has made. Employees can use the screen to keep track of the status of their requests and stay up to date with their progress. In this video, we've looked at the process of an employee making and tracking their own leave requests, but MYOB Advanced also includes functions that let a manager make and review leave requests for the employees they manage. When viewed by a manager, the Leave Request screen offers all of the employees under them for selection. Similarly, the Submit a Leave Request window can be used by a manager to make or edit leave requests for their employees. A separate screen for managers, the Team Calendar, gives managers a graphical view of the leave that has been requested and taken by their employees, with details of each leave request displayed in a pop-up. This screen can provide useful information about staff resourcing, which could affect whether or not leave should be approved or declined. That concludes our look at making and processing leave requests in MYOB Advanced. For more information on the self-service and payroll modules, including how to set up the self-service module for leave requests, see the collection of documentation and videos on the MYOB Advanced Education Centre. Thanks for watching.